everybody, it's Chelsea Alana, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I am a social media specialist and manager, also an author, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get your Instagram back after it's been disabled. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and um, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I have my braces in, so I do have a serious, serious list going on, but this is going to be like a little bit of a story time and a little bit of, you know, some information. Well, a lot of bit of information. So, uh, about two weeks ago, my Instagram was disabled. I literally woke up regular day, 9 a.m. Because I'm primarily on social media more than the average person because I work with social media so much, I tend to not open up the app until like I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I get something to drink, I open my prayer journal. I really try to be as much as a um, citizen to society before I tap into the matrix. So once all of my morning routines were done, I went to go open up my Instagram and I was met with a message saying that Instagram had to verify who I was and that I had to put in a phone, my phone number that was connected to my Instagram, which I did. And then I got a text message um, for a code right after and I entered that into Instagram as well. And then they said I had to wait 24 hours to get my Instagram back. And so I was just like, well, what happened? I got an email saying that my Instagram was um, disabled, not deleted, it was disabled um, because Instagram just wanted to verify who I was. They said there was some suspicious activities, something like spam or something like that. However, I am very bourgeois on social media. If you are not my immediate family or a friend that calls me on a regular basis, I don't comment. I might like or whatever, um, but I do not comment or spam or DM or even answer DMs from people. I really don't. And now that Instagram is being super, super strict, I don't curse. I don't argue, I don't bully people, I don't do anything on Instagram because if you besides post and label all of my posts as paid collaboration posts, I don't I don't try to get in trouble on Instagram. I really, really don't because now their new terms and conditions are so super strict that they can delete you and they can delete your Instagram for any reason. During that time, <laughs> during that time I did not have my Instagram, girl, I was panicking. I was so wet -ting. because you never, um, I, I do have multiple streams of income. However, um, of course there's one that's more substantial than the other, but most of them are pretty much average when it comes to, they fluctuate, but they are average when it comes to my pace. And so, Without my Instagram, I realized that I was going to lose 30% of my monthly income. And that is scary. I make anywhere from $25 to $3,700 a month off Instagram alone. These clothes that I post, the hair that I post, everything. I was going to lose out on 30% of my income monthly if I did not get my Instagram back. And so I did what any other person would do. I started emailing. I was emailing, emailing, emailing. I was filling out all of these forms that were in the help section. I'm going to put the form links in the description box below. However, I have to be honest, those forms are not what got me back my Instagram. I'm going to tell you what got me back my Instagram. After waiting the 24 hours, my Instagram was not restored to me. It was not. 
I filled out all of the forms. I took the picture with my ID. I, I had the date and the time to prove I was who I was, and it did not work. I even emailed um, um, one of my friends recently just passed the bar in New York. And so now I'm already telling people she's my lawyer, whatever, whatever. I even emailed Instagram and I told them that my lawyers had reviewed my Instagram and seen that I did not violate any of the terms and conditions or our, our regulations on Instagram. And so they lawfully had to restore my Instagram. <laughs> So um, I also emailed them and threatened Instagram. I emailed Instagram and threatened them with a lawsuit because I am a part of their Metaverse Creators um, program, which means I received a 1099 as a freelance contractor to post on Instagram. I get monthly payments from Instagram alone, excluding the brands that I promote outside of Instagram. So I was emailing them, threatening them with a potential lawsuit saying, you are withholding my funds and my income and you're not allowing me to do my job so that I can create a living for myself. I was guns blazing in those emails and I finally discovered what was going to get my Instagram back. So ladies and gentlemen, here is how I got my Instagram disabled, my disabled Instagram re-abled back on to me. And while we're in this video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me at Chelsea Alana with two A's on Alana to see all of my beautiful, cool posts and see some ratchet stuff in my stories. Okay, so we're finally here. This is how I got my Instagram back. And this will only work if your Instagram is set up the same way my Instagram was set up. Here we go. The way my Instagram was set up, it was connected to my Facebook page. I have a fan Facebook page called Chelsea Alana that is hosting my Instagram page, my digital creator Instagram page, also named Chelsea Alana. This is how you get your Instagram re um, instated. You go on Facebook, you go to your Facebook page that is connected to your Instagram or has the same email that is um, registered to your Instagram and you post a picture. Yeah, it's that simple. You post a picture to your Facebook page. After you post it, Instagram will send you a prompt and they will ask you, do you want to boost this post to reach more audiences of your demographic? You are going to press yes. You are going to go in there and you're going to put whatever you got to put. I only put $5. Yeah, $5. I put an ad up on Facebook for $5 for a demographic that was in Miami, Atlanta, New York for a picture that I posted on my Instagram. Um, you do have to wait for Facebook to approve your ad, which usually takes about two to three hours. Once Instagram approves your ad, then you're going to get a um, customer service number or a customer service um, email from the Meta Account Center. Because now you are not a social media user. You are just not a regular person on Instagram. You are a paying customer. So once you become a paying customer of Facebook, especially Facebook Business Center, they are now at your beck and call. Yeah, I made Facebook my bitch. <laughs> JK. So once Instagram um, shows you to your business center, you immediately file a complaint. Right off the bat, you don't gotta wait. Immediately, once it's approved, I got a complaint, something went wrong. Instagram 
around, depending on what time, by this time it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. So their call center was not open. However, they had a chat that had like a robot or something or whatever in the chat. They asked me what was wrong with the ad that I just purchased. I said, I purchased an ad that was supposed to be posted on my Facebook and my Instagram. However, the ad is no longer running on my Instagram because I didn't put why it wasn't running, but I said, I looked on my Instagram and the ad is not running. Even though I paid for Instagram and Facebook promotions. When you have a Facebook page that is connected to your Instagram, when you promote on Facebook, you promote on Instagram. When you promote on Instagram, you promote on Facebook. They are synonymous. They are the same account on two different platforms. I wrote to the business center and I told them that for whatever reason, my ad on Instagram was not was not running, even though I had already spent my money. So you know what Instagram did? You know what Facebook did? Without a blink of an eye, within two hours, restored my Instagram. My thing was up and running. Girl, they even sent me an apology email saying it was disabled by a, a mistaken link. I said, I bet it was. Then I did a little bit more research and I found out that your social media platforms are no longer for you to do free freedom of speech or to creatively express yourself. They are now a brick and mortar business the same way Forever 21 is, Zara, your local Applebee's or your favorite go to corral. They are a business looking to please their clientele. So the way I got my Instagram back was simply paying for it. It sucks, but like I said earlier, losing out on 30% of my income, paying a little $5 for a BS ad that I probably did not need, I'll pay the $5. I found out that if I continuously pay for sponsored posts on my Facebook and my Instagram, that Facebook would ensure that my posts are constantly being ran. So now I have to go back to the drawing board and now I have to allocate $20 a month to run ads so that I can hopefully keep my Instagram from ever being disabled again. I know that a lot of people out there are paying $2,500, $3,500 to have their deleted Instagram brought back and sometimes that is a source that people go to. Me personally, if I'm not making money on that, I'm not going to spend money to get it back. So if I'm only making $3,700 a month, I probably would pay the $3,500 to get my Instagram back. It's like you take a loss for 30 days, and the next 30 days you can make that back, whatever. But for people with regular Instagrams that are paying thousands of dollars to get their regular Instagram page back, not even a business page, I would highly suggest that you try this method first. Um, and most importantly, you gotta be patient. It sucks, it's boring, but you just have to be patient and um, take your time and just know that you will get through this. My Instagram was disabled for a total of two days. I watched every Netflix um, series that I never had time to watch before because I was constantly working. So um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Please drop a comment below if you have any other ways of getting a disabled Instagram back or if my way actually helped you, that would be great to know. But I will be back with more informational videos on how to navigate this world on social media. So don't forget to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Zombie Beast